We're here in the Jewish quarter in the old city of Jerusalem, and everyone is looking forward to the holiday of Purim. This is a joyous time, especially for the children. They dress up in colorful costumes. The boys like to be pirates and cowboys. And of course, every little Jewish girl likes to dress up as a princess, just like Esther in the book by her name. They also eat these little pastries called hamantash or Haman's ears. But Purim also marks a very serious event in Jewish history as told in the book or scroll of Esther. During the time of Israel's exile to Babylon, a beautiful young Jewish girl was chosen by King Ahasuerus, king of Persia, to be his new queen. The young girl named Esther is informed by Mordecai, her uncle, of a plot to wipe out the Jews. Mordecai pleads with Esther to appeal to the king on behalf of her people and to challenge Haman, the king's advisor responsible for the decree. King Ahasuerus revokes Haman's decree and Haman himself is hanged on the gallows he had constructed. Now Mordecai, the Bible says, is from the tribe of Benjamin. And if you read the text carefully, it also says he's actually from the family of King Saul. Meanwhile, Haman is an Agagite. This means he was a descendant of King Agog, who Saul failed to kill at the command of the prophet Samuel. And this means that Haman, through Agog, was a Amalekite, Israel's oldest and most bitter enemy, all the way back to the time of the exodus from Egypt. So what is actually playing out in the book of Esther is another chapter in this long war between Israel and Amalek. Yet this should not surprise us as Exodus 17 says, the Lord shall have war with Amalek from generation to generation. Now with that in mind, let's listen to what Haman says to the king of Persia about the Jews. Then Haman said to King Ahasuerus, There is a certain people scattered and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of your kingdom. Their laws are different from all other peoples, and they do not keep the king's laws. Therefore, it is not fitting for the king to let them remain. Here, Haman is trying to poison the mind of the king of Persia against the Jews. He says they're different. They're not like us. They're evil. They don't belong here. Let's get rid of them. Yet thank God Queen Esther was there, prepared as a hidden deliverer for her people. And we can say, Am Israel high, the people of Israel live. Still, it seems new Hamans arise in every generation, seeking to destroy the Jewish people. And the question is, who's going to be there to help deliver them? In modern times, we saw the rise of a new Haman named Hitler. He said the Jews were different. They're evil. In fact, they're vermin and need to be exterminated. And sadly, there were not enough Christians around to help rescue the endangered Jewish people. Today, there is a new Haman rising once again in Persia. His name is Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. He also says the Jews are different, that they're evil. In fact, they're not even human. And he wants to wipe the Jewish nation off the map. I'm David Parsons with the International Christian Embassy, Jerusalem. And we're committed to standing against the Hamans that arise in our day, seeking to destroy the Jewish people. We're standing against the lies and the evil plots against Israel today. And one of the ways we're doing this is through our unique partnership with Yad Vashem. In fall 2012, the International Christian Embassy would like to bring 25 pastors from all around the world to Jerusalem for a strategic conference at Yad Vashem. In order to do this, we need 500 partners which support this unique project with $100 each. I want to invite you to visit our website at www.icej.tv or send us an email and make a donation to bring those pastors to Jerusalem to educate them about the dangers of anti-Semitism and hatred. Your donation will make a difference. Please stand with us and may the Lord bless you from Jerusalem.